So you want to move to Naples, but where in Naples? Now I work with a lot of buyers who are out of town and they're starting their online search and they're going to Zillow and they're going to realtor.com and they find a property that they like, but they have a lot of questions about what it's like to live here in Naples, what that particular neighborhood or uh, community is like. And they reach out to me and to ask me questions about those different neighborhoods because moving here to Naples, Florida can be confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna try and give you a little bit better idea of how Naples and Collier County is laid out from the west side of Collier County and the beaches all the way to the east side of Naples and Collier County uh, with the bigger developments and the golf communities. And I want you to hopefully get a better feeling or understanding of how Naples is laid out, what communities and what areas might be best for you. So if you're not all that familiar with Naples and Collier County, you might be amazed to find out that you could drive for an hour or more and still be in an area with a Naples, Florida mailing address. First, I want to start with some quick facts about the area. The city of Naples only occupies 16 square miles of the over 2,300 square miles that make up Collier County. And the city of Naples is one of three towns or cities, and I use the word city loosely, in Collier County. The other two recognized cities are Everglades City and Marco Island. The rest of Collier County is unincorporated and is generally referred to as Naples. So like I said in the beginning of the video, buying a property can be confusing since we say Naples, but we are usually talking about Collier County. So let's take a look at Collier County which I'm gonna to refer to as Naples in this video. Um, and we're gonna look area by area. So while there may not be towns or cities, there are large gated communities. And we talk about specific communities as if they were towns. And we also use roadways to outline different areas of Naples. So let's start at the beach and work our way east. So when we talk about the beach area, we are referring to the area west of 41, which we also call Tamiami Trail. So Tamiami Trail runs parallel to the Gulf of Mexico. It was built to join Tampa and Miami, so hence the name Tamiami Trail. Being in the beach area means you are close to everything Naples and Collier County has to offer. Not only are you close to the beach, you are also close to shopping, dining, and cultural spots like the artist Naples. And of course, living here comes at a price. Located in this area are some of the most expensive properties and these properties hold their value. So some of the communities that you'll find in this area include of course, the city of Naples, Royal Harbor, Port Royal, Aqualane Shores, The Moorings, Coquina Sands, Park Shore, and Pelican Bay to name a few. Of course, if you can't swing being a WOFO, and that means living west of 41, the next best area would be living west of Goodlett Frank Road. Of course, there's many neighborhoods west of Goodlett Frank, but I'm just gonna highlight two of them real quick. First is located downtown and it's still close to the beach, it's Lake Park. And Lake Park is one of the most desired neighborhoods in the area. It's home to Fleischmann Park and you can also walk to the Naples Zoo. So next is Pine Ridge. Pine Ridge is another neighborhood west of Goodlett Frank and it's highly sought after. It's got large houses on large lots. In fact, most lots are over an acre of land and that's hard to find this close to the beach. And portions of Pine Ridge are zoned agricultural so you can have your horse in your backyard if you wanted. So moving a bit east, we come across Airport Road. Now the area between Goodlett Frank and Airport has a lot to offer. It's still within a 10 minute car ride to the beach and this area is home to many gated and non-gated communities. Now the Orange Blossom Corridor is a prime example of this area. Here you're gonna find communities with mature landscaping, they're close to the library, shopping, and close to uh, Mercado, which is an upscale shopping, dining area, and it has a Whole Foods there as well. So the next main road or dividing line is I-75. Now it used to be if you were east of I-75, there was nothing but farmland, but that's changed as Naples has expanded. So between Airport Road and I-75, you're gonna find more communities with golf courses and resort type amenities. So if you'd rather pay golf than sit at the beach, this area should appeal to you. 
Of course, you can still drive to the beach. It's about 15 to 20 minutes and you're super close to all the major stores. And in this area west of I-75, you're gonna find the communities of Pelican Marsh, Gray Oaks, Kensington, Stonebridge, Mediterra, Talis Park, and so many more. And still within a 20 to 30 minute drive and just east of I-75, you're gonna find the communities of the Vineyards, Island Walk, the Esplanade, Quail Creek, Longshore Lakes, again, just to name a few. As I mentioned before, uh, Naples is expanding further east and now Collier Boulevard, which is also known as 951, is becoming a reference line as well. So if you live east of Collier Boulevard, the beach is about a 30 minute drive. And again, if you like to play golf, play tennis, hang out at a resort style pool, this is an area for you. So all, almost all of the newer communities being built east of Collier are north of Vanderbilt Beach Road. And the growth over the last five years has been incredible. Some of the larger communities in this area are the Quarry, Heritage Bay, Twin Eagles, and again, so many more. And even farther east, uh, about 20 miles east of I-75 and about a 50 minute drive from the Gulf of Mexico is Ave Maria. Now Ave Maria is a self-sustained town. It's complete uh, with a vibrant town center. It's got preserved open spaces. It's got all types of amenities, uh, golf and water park. And it's also home to Ave Maria uh, University. It's a private Catholic university with a law school. So if you don't plan on going to the beach, this could be a great location for you and homes are still affordable. While you may get more for your money east of Collier Boulevard, there are some downfalls. So new shopping centers are starting to pop up to serve the growing community needs east of Collier Boulevard. But yet, if you live out there, it's gonna take you about 40 minutes to get to the nearest post office, Home Depot, Lowe's, Costco, and other stores you might be used to having right at your fingertips. Also, the newer developments are more densely populated. The yard sizes are getting smaller and smaller and home values can fluctuate. So as a new development is built, older communities can depreciate. So another area I want to talk about is Golden Gate Estates. Now Golden Gate Estates is east of Collier Boulevard and it um, is located pretty much south of Bonita Beach Road in that area. Um, and here you're gonna find properties, uh, homes on properties of an acre or more. So if you're looking for privacy, large lots, somewhere to store your boat, your RV, um, if you have heavy machinery and more, Golden Gate Estates is where you wanna be. And again, depending on how close you live to Collier Boulevard, a drive to the beach or downtown is gonna take you 30 minutes or more. So another area I want to mention is East Naples. Now East Naples is situated um, like south of Golden Gate Boulevard. It's east of Airport Pulling Road and it stretches beyond Collier Boulevard. And East Naples is a mix of older communities such as Lely with newer communities like Isles of Collier Preserve and everything in between. Some of the older communities in East Naples are more affordable than other areas in Naples. And again, depending on where you live in East Naples, you could be within a 15 to 45 minute drive to the beach and downtown. And many of the communities in this area do have community pools, tennis, pickleball courts, and golf courses. They just might not have the resort style pools and amenities that some of the newer communities have. So I hope this video has given you some insight into Naples, Florida and Collier County and maybe given you more information about where you'd like to live here in Naples, Florida. And again, if you have a specific neighborhood you want more information about, please leave a comment below and I'd happy, be happy to answer those questions and help you out with that. And don't forget also in my description below, you're going to find a link to a video which is tips on moving here to Naples, Florida. So if you're looking to move to Naples, Florida, check out my tips to moving to Florida. And also there is a relocation guide, my free relocation guide uh, down below. There's a link to that. So make sure you download that as well. So if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Um, it really does mean a lot to me and it helps my channel grow and it gets my videos out to more people like you that want to move here to Naples, Florida. So I appreciate you smashing that like, but like button for me. 
So until next time, my name is Lori Rose. I'm a local realtor and I make videos like this one about what it's like to live in Naples, the different areas of Naples and what's happening in the Naples real estate market. So if these are subjects that are of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see more of my videos when they appear. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day. See ya.